because I remember one time I made a video right here. I'm not going to mention the name of the, 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 the pastor. After I posted the video of something like this as well, prophetic and all that, the person in question that was, that was involved in that encounter reached out to me. Alright, so I have a comment about this trending video, but first of all, let's watch it together. Madam, this is 10 years of marriage, no child. Eh? Yes, sir. Come. Professor, Baba. I saw after 10 years, God now gave you one. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. It's only one child you have for your husband. Yes, sir. Only one. But I'm seeing you looking at somebody, you are taking care of somebody, like your sister. My now you the take care of them. Yes, sir. And the children. Yes, sir. How many children does she have? Two girls. Eh? Two girls. Can I shock you? I am seeing you taking care of this woman. Yes, sir. Even when you have no children, yes, sir. you were taking care of her children. You brought her inside. Yes, sir. She gave birth to the first one. Yes, she gave birth to the second one. Yes, I am seeing the first one blessed. Yes, the second one Mori. said I should tell you those two girls they are your husband's children all right so I believe you took your time to watch that video I'm going to be giving a couple of comments but let me look at what some people think like some of you will be thinking right now in the comment section so this was posted on Twitter by Niger okay it's a particular handle that gets to post um you know trending stuff and all and the title of the video is pastor has caused a lot of trouble already with a laughing emoji and then someone said in the comment was that necessary and then someone replied and said is it because it's a woman who is finding it difficult to conceive what if it was the other way round would you still consider it irrelevant and then the person that said was it necessary round replied this person that just replied him this thing wasn't done to glorify god biko think about that neither was it done the person replied and neither was it done to belittle god however however you choose to see it the woman deserved to know the truth hold that thought then this person now replied and said all this drama is just to show that you have supernatural powers as a pastor and you got that from god knows where what if the woman had died as a result of this information that is if what was happening there is actually true though moving on right here the pers one person now jumped into the conversation and said so if they tell it privately does that stop her from dying if she want to die think about that for a moment the person was even laughing how insensitive i would say anyway one of the things we see on social media then this person now replied again and said i would 100 percent like to know how you reveal such information in a public space like that not only has the pastor destroyed a family he has also made mockery of the woman and imprinted a lasting impression about her in the sight of both men and women and this is my commentary about this first of all let's look at the video itself he said the woman had been barren for 10 good years and within the period of her being barren or not let me not say barren not being able to conceive her sister had two children apparently according to the video if you were listening was living with her she says she brought her in now within those period was a sister having kids outside before she brought her in or was it the time she brought her in that she now started having kids that she had two girls that is if this story is even true so let's assume because we have some people in the comments who are going to say it's a true thing that happened it's a false thing that it's a true thing that happened or is false so i'm going to look at it on, on both sides if this woman the sister had the child inside when she was living with her and you yourself you are a wife and you have a husband ask yourself a question why wouldn't you be suspicious or even ask questions that your own sister you brought in to stay with you is has two girls in the midst of that period you haven't had a child or is it that this same sister so if you have to look at it right now to the extended family for this her sister to be having two girls and still staying in your house is it that she is not married herself or she goes to go and play away game come home and come and give bed and she's still staying in your house goes home and goes out, goes out again to go and play away game come back again and still stay in your house and has two children think about that for a moment hold that particular thought but even moving on as well 
Later, she now gets to have her own child. That is if this story is even true. And the pastor said there in the video, can I shock you? We see this most times in these prophetic churches where they say, oh, can I prophesy? Can I speak to you? Can I? More of like giving, you giving them the permission to say things or whatever they are seeing or whatever or fufu they are seeing to you. But I want you to start thinking right now at the moment. You know, we have looked at different kind of fake prophecies here on the platform. You have seen the Facebook prophecy where your Facebook details are being used or things you have posted recently or someone like they do a D on you or your person based on the things that are out there about you which you post yourself and they use that to prophesy on you which is of course believable because these are things that are in your public data. Quite easy to do I would say most times. So we have looked at that before and also we have looked at prayer point prophecy where when you are going to a church and then they ask you to write prayer points and put in a particular box or this and that and all that. Those prayer points you write are being used to prophesy to you if you have not seen those videos and you are watching me on youtube i have an example right there in the pin comment for you to see if you are interested in seeing that but moving on right here with this particular one now i don't know who the pastor or the prophet is i don't even care to know because from the post no one has posted who the person is let me ask you a question if you look at the person of jesus christ in the bible you are a christian because of christ so if his life should be an example to you because God himself coming down to be a perfect example for we Christians that is if you're a Christian watching me though we should model our life and the things we do according to him right think about the story of the woman at the well that Jesus himself spoke to and even told her things about herself that she thought no one knew she was the one that went out there to go and proclaim and say things about Jesus with regards to the fact that Jesus told her things that no one knew about her. She was the one announcing Jesus. We are in an era right now whereby prophets want to announce themselves. Look at this particular situation right now. You have a video camera in your church there and you are videoing all this on camera and you say these kind of things and these kind of things happen in your church or whatever even if it's true and you are able to prophesy this and see this and this happens. Why post it on social media? Why post it online? Are you trying to show your pro as a prophet? Are you trying to show the world that this is a proof that you are you have some supernatural power? Even though we know that most of these things are staged. We know. I know. I've seen most of them with proof. If these same people right now, tomorrow, maybe this same person, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but like the ones you have looked at here already on the platform, these same people might maybe go into a particular scandal tomorrow or something happens about them that, you know, goes viral or maybe comes out on social media. And if people are talking about those same things that is out there, on camera, everything, audio recordings, whatever. You see the same followers there in the comments, like you see some people right now, saying, touch not the anointed, saying, judge not that you will not be judged, saying, you did not call man of God, so you are not supposed to judge him. I don't know where they get this mindset from. Look at this ridicule right now that this woman has gone through, or would I say, if this is true, with that caveat in your church, what happened to just leaving it at there in your church than posting such a thing on social media? When it comes to when they are collecting dangerous seed when it comes to when they are you know doing the fundraising and all that that is when they off camera and off mic from people not to who are not at that particular position from hearing or maybe seeing them collect those uh, <laughs> dangerous seeds like some of them so like we have looked at here before but when it comes to things like it that show your pro wish that show your <laughs> you're a man of god of which most of them are still anyway you put that on social media so that people get to see you and validate you you have seen the ones that have done raising the dead fake the ones that have worked on air fake Bushiri, the ones that have done what miracle money to, for money to obtain side back fake but you do these things and you put out your they put out their stupidity i would say on social media because you think everybody is gullible or people are not thinking in my opinion what i'm going to say right here with this right now i don't see any reason why this should be posted on so you see that's why sometimes i don't have any iota of remorse when i see things about these people on social media and i bring to add volume to them and discuss them trust me the world of knowledge of things i have or i know people have because of the things commentaries i make like this people that have had some personal entanglement or personal relationships or personal issues with some quote and unquote pastors have come to tell me some things with proof but because i have a principle that guides me i do not talk about something 
that is not already on social media if you are afraid enough not to post about your issues with this person or this whatever man of god yourself on your page or share it on your platform and you are coming to tell me i have a principle that guides me i, I always have to talk from a reference point so i saw this here i am discussing about it i saw this on insta blog i saw this on linda ikg i saw it on this platform i saw it on this platform like what i'm seeing right now i'm discussing some of you are on social media you don't even understand what social media is why would a pastor be doing this even if it is true think about that for a moment what happened to calling the person privately like something like this because if your, if your your prophecy i think should be edifying even though we have seen i've seen videos here where like you know when it comes to saying you know saying good words over you or what i say that kind of thing what is edifying about this if it's not to show yourself and prove yourself as a man of god like the story i've looked at recently using people's misfortune to validate yourself start thinking some of you are watching me now you are pastors you call yourself apostle you call yourself whatever you call yourself if this is a true prophecy would god want you to destroy marriages this way i would suggest that if you are seeing something like this about someone, it's not something you make a public ridicule of. Think about the woman that was caught in adultery. That is why when I see these people and things about them, even though I still, I am, would I say to a great extent, principled enough that even when people tell me stuff and tell me things, I say, I cannot share this thing because it's not already out there. If you cannot share it yourself on your platform or you want to hide your face to do it, share it somewhere else look for other media and get to post it there when i see it there i'm going to pick it there and then i'm going to discuss it but it has to come from you yourself telling your own story because if you come and tell me something and tell me george this pastor did this to me this pastor did this to me i'm sorry that's not how i work i would rather wait for other people to do it then i pick it from there and i discuss it that's why I analyze things on social media. But if I'm to go the other way around and start revealing things that your eyes have not seen, your ear have not heard, that is when you can be justified to call being real George whatever names you have been calling me before. But tell me what you think in the comments about this one because I'm reading. I want to really know what you think about this. Is it true? Is it false? Is what he's doing right? And if you are also a prophet, prophetess, what, what, what? Would you do this in your own church and put it on social media? Forever and ever, this video about this woman is going to remain out there on social media in this way. God knows if this is even true or if it is false. Because I remember one time I made a video right here. I'm not going to mention the name of the, 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 the pastor. After I posted the video of something like this as well, prophetic and all that, the person in question that was, that was involved in that encounter reached out to me, reached out to a friend who knows me in the same space and told me see what happened there i was paid to come and give that testimony but everybody believes this particular prophet that what happened there was true even me myself i was shocked but because i don't know i saw something on social media i put it and discussed i even said in that video that i don't know if this is true or not but the person confirmed it to me that as at then when that video was made in the past and he was paid to do so so even that validates the more that this particular man is a false prophet but have you seen me open my vocal cavity here? All the while I've been making videos about things happening in church to call someone real fake this and this. I can say what you are doing is fake. What you are saying is false. But I will not, total, I will not label you as such because I know that people change, people repent, people turn a new leaf. And whatever I put out there remains there forever. So I don't go into labeling, but I face issues. Because the issues are what, to a great extent, get to define your level of validity as a man of God or invalidity. <laughs> Oh, 
Monsieur Poupa. Oh, check the young do to me, what's in Monsieur? Oh, they do love me, Monsieur. 